Good morning or afternoon or evening wherever you are. I get to hang out with the Cancerian clan. Hi Cancers! I hope that you're all doing well. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. The likes, the shares and subscribes, they're helping me get found, they're helping me get noticed and your support just means everything so that I can keep doing this for you guys. All right, please note these are general messages. They will not resonate with everyone. So just take what does and leave the rest. If you'd like a private reading, you can find a link to my website in the description box below. Also, I'm an empathic intuitive, intuitive empath and an emotional empath, which means I pick up on the emotions of the cards and that's how I interpret them, which means I will have my fluctuations and emotions. If, if something is sad, I'll probably cry with you. <laughs> If something is happy, I'll laugh with you. If something frustrates you, I'll probably be frustrated with you as well. Um, and also, I am a truthful tarot reader. So if you're looking for um, somebody who will tell you just what you want to hear to make you feel better, unfortunately, I don't twist the messages like that. I just tell you exactly what I see because there is... Um, to me, I embrace the light and the dark because we learn from the dark or what people call negative experiences. They're all messages that are trying to show us something or teach us something. And if spirit feels that it needs to come through, then I say so. Okay. So if the truth bothers you, I'm probably not the reader for you. And I just don't want to mislead you or have you watch this and then get frustrated because you were expecting me to tell you that you won the lottery. <laughs> All right, you guys, coming into the energy here, Cancerian spirit, help me out. What messages do they need to know for the collective? What messages or preparation do they need? Realizations and epiphanies. Okay, this wanted to come out sideways. So I feel like you're definitely going through a point right now where... You are starting to get some reali realizations and epiphanies, but you're not really sure in terms of the clarity. So I guess what I'm saying is that the downloads haven't come through, but you're starting to feel better. You're starting to emerge with a clarity um, regarding some situation. What is this situation, please, Spirit, for Cancerians? What is this um, clarity about? Okay, it may have been from... Um, a financial loss of some sort or overspending or it could even be to a rejection of some sort because always remember rejection is protection um, and when people come into our lives or situations nothing lasts forever and the reason why is because it's it's like seasons it changes so people come and people go seasons come and seasons go situations you know come and they go and through each of them we learn something all right there's something that we take from the experience or we're meant to and we may feel sad when it comes to an ending but the reality is that it was meant to because now you're moving forward so some of you just might be in a grief process right now because you wanted to hold on to something or this could be the person that you're dealing with, all right? Maybe this is somebody surrounding you in your environment and that's what they're going through. Let's crossing this, please spirit. Relationship dynamics, okay, yeah. So some of you could have broken up with somebody and that's what that five of pentacles is about. Maybe you had to let them go because the relationship served its purpose, the lessons were learned and Either you decided there was something that no longer was working for you or they decided that. But regardless, um, if it no longer required an internal growth from what you were experiencing, then it was time to go. So I think you're starting to see and get a lot of clarity about possibly why things didn't work out in the past. All right, so let's get a card for that what is this relationship dynamics please spirit king of cups could have been dealing with a cancer pisces scorpio okay so this is somebody 
who is very outward focused but they don't show their emotions a lot and it's possible that the person that you're dealing with right now is feeling a little left out in the cold maybe because you're hiding your emotions cancerians are very good at that uh, you bury them deep down and that's not a bad thing um, but for others they they want to see more emotion because that helps them connect so that's just for some of you for others of you uh, maybe you're feeling rejected because you wanted to connect more on an emotional level all right but if this is representing you, this King of Cups, it's saying that you've got, um, you're stable in your emotions, all right? But perhaps someone else's energy is making you feel unstable. And maybe that's why you had to leave. Maybe they're very up and down, hot and cold, that type of dynamic. And that's what was causing the issue, all right? So you learned that. You learned that you know people that are hot and cold or don't show up or don't connect with you the way that you need then spirit is moving you to the right path and to the right connection what else do we have moving i <laughs> see and this wanted to come out in reverse is the foundation if you haven't left the connection the foundation of this reading is saying that you might be doing so in the near future or that the individual you're dealing with might move on and why because we we just talked about what was going on here in terms of emotional connection or lack thereof some of you may not want to move on because you just don't want to give up but i think that you're starting to see that maybe this isn't exactly the healthiest situation for you for others of you um maybe you're just in a dynamic where you feel as though things aren't moving forward and that could be why you're feeling a little rejected or maybe the person you're dealing with feels like that but maybe things have been stagnant for a little while and maybe spirit is saying for some of you if you really love your partner or the person that you're dealing with maybe now isn't the good the best time to move on maybe it's just a matter of dealing with these feelings of rejection and seeing why they're coming up is it something surfacing from the past, right? Because we are coming into Scorpio season in which old emotions come up, such as abandonment wounding. It, it's about um, really spending some time with yourself in this isolation to get to the bottom of what's going on. Is it internal or is it external? Five of Cups, see? So you do have some changes coming here. And in the recent past, this was grief. What was this grief about, please, spirit? Grief and sadness. Okay. Grief and sadness about retirement in reverse. Yeah, I don't think that you want to leave the situation that you're in. Or maybe some of you have retired as of late. Or you're about to retire in your job. That could be walking away from the pentacles, which symbolizes work. Um, and maybe you're feeling sad about that. You know, maybe you're not ready to retire. But that's just for some of you but don't worry because you will find things you'll just go through that grief process which is natural but things will get better okay for others of you it's uh the recent past maybe you've thought about moving on or the person you're dealing with has thought about moving on and that makes you really sad and stuck in the emotions maybe maybe some external situation um made it as such that it parted ways for example someone had to move for a job someone had to leave to go take care of family whatever be the dynamic um i i feel as though it's been a bit of a struggle but the good news is that you're starting to get the clarity of why it happened and you're processing the emotions so that you can move forward instead of feeling stuck all right so the outcome to this situation what's the outcome to this situation for cancerians for the cancer clan sentimental feelings and that wanted to come out in reverse that's exactly what i'm talking about for some of you maybe you're not allowing yourself to grieve the loss of a relationship maybe you're not allowing yourself to let go all right maybe you're holding on to the past or you're holding on 
to the way that things used to be, right? And the reason why is because it can be painful. So maybe you're stuffing those emotions down because you're just wanting to hold on and you don't want things to change. But what Spirit is saying is now is the time to allow yourself to grieve and to feel whatever it is that's necessary for you to move forward. This cycle has now completed. Whoever was there was there for the reason that they were meant to be. And now it's time to move on because there's other things that are coming in for you. Think of it this way. How many times have you broken up with someone in the past and, and you thought, oh my gosh, I'll never find anybody better? Or how many times did a friendship end and you thought, you know what, I'm never going to find another friend like that. And then amazingly, one day, boom, someone shows up, right? And the way to get through that process is to understand that that's what it is. This is simply a process and it's a cycle and spirit like from a spiritual perspective, they're gonna bring you in what you need when you need it the most and when it's time for you to learn, all right? And when it's time for you to have this new experience. But right now, some of you are um, dealing with this grief. Also, some of you could have been in some conflict, like I said, but I think you're gonna learn something about the relationship dynamic from the conflict and that can give way for opportunities to fix it or address the issues, right? What is the sentimental feelings in reverse, please, Spirit? Oh, bless, heartbreak. Cancerians, what? I'm so sorry. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, I just got this feeling too. I heard somebody, somebody out there saying, you know what, no, I have no sentimental feelings for this person. They hurt me. You could have been put into a third party situation that broke your heart, rightly so. Um, and you're just like, no, they get no sentiment from me. And that's okay too, because that's part of the grief process, right? You could be at the anger stage, but regardless, um, even if you feel like your heart isn't gonna open again, it will. It will just look at these wings these butterfly wings okay these realizations and epiphanies are going to set you free and you're going to fly again okay so let's see what's coming up for my cancer clan in the near future what's coming up for the cancerians near future please spirit what do we got be true to you and that is coming out sideways so i feel like you might be in this energy just a little bit longer and rightly so because we're going into scorpio season which also brings up old unresolved emotions and feelings and things that we're always purging it's a lifelong process uh, the more experiences we have then the more cleansing and purging we have to do so once we accept that it's a never-ending cycle it makes it easier to look for the lights or uh, focus on the fact that the cycles will change and the light will come the sun will come out again so you might be in this energy in the next little while and it's about being honest with yourself being good to yourself and also being truthful from any realizations and epiphanies that may come from whatever situation that you've just gone through and it's also about being truthful um regarding your wants and desires right because if you're really not happy in a situation then you're basically lying to yourself. And if you're doing it to please others, it's only going to manifest as um, conflicts, right? So you may think you're doing the right thing by sticking around, but the truth is, is you're hurting yourself and then that hurts others. And everyone just gets hurt because no one's being truthful. And you're gonna heal, <gasps> beautiful energy beautiful the star you're gonna feel a sense of renewal some of you may even uh, have an opportunity for a reconciliation with someone from the past maybe whoever this was that hurt you but I think because that came out sideways you're gonna spend some time really analyzing it and deciding if that's what you want but either or if you take this person back or you don't take this person back could be friend or making a with a colleague or a partner but the great news is that with this star energy it's going to be healed okay some of you may even be famous or you may be in the limelight maybe a public figure 
right? But this is beautiful healing energy. And spirit is trying to guide you. You see that? With that star? And she's reaching for it. So keep reaching for that light. Because like I said, it's not too far away. All right? So you're just going to go through this just a little bit longer. But then you're going to get out of it. And you're going to come out renewed, refreshed, and with a sense of hope. All right? Spirit is here. They've got your back. Have an amazing rest of your day. And thank you so much for being here. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye, Cancerians.